Hi guys, this is Infinite Wisdom Tutoring bringing to you Grade 10 Mathematics. Today we will be doing trigonometry, specifically the 2D problems. Let us start with a reminder. On our reminder, we will be checking if we still remember the soccer tour. From the soccer tour, we need to remember that is actually the opposite side over the hypotenuse side and the cos is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse side and the tan is the opposite side over the adjacent side this is a mnemonic that we have learned in the previous part of trigonometry which i believe by now we have already learned to just remember what the opposite hypotenuse and the adjacent side let us look at the following diagram. This is a right angle triangle. So I'm just going to produce a 90 degree there, which is our right angle. It will depend now which angle is given, whether the one down here or the one up there is given. So if we are given the angle here, which is theta, the opposite side will be a side that is opposite to this theta, provided that we are having a 90 degree. If we do not have a 90 degree, for example, if I make an isosceles triangle like the one that I have here, there is no 90 degree here. Therefore, we cannot have a specific opposite side, adjacent side, and a specific hypotenuse side according to how we have learned it for trigonometry. It will be the grade 11 trigonometry that will help us to learn more about such. Now, the opposite side to the given angle is our opposite side. It speaks for itself. And the longest side, which you will find it always opposite to the 90 degree, you will find it always opposite to the 90 degree, is our hypotenuse side, which is the longest side of the triangle. And the other side, which is next to the given angle, is our adjacent side. Now, from this reminder, we set sine theta which is the sine of this given theta, will be known or is already known as opposite side over the hypotenuse side. Hence, we had the terms. And again, the cos of theta, which is known as the adjacent side of the hypotenuse side, will be known as or is already known as the car, which is cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. And almost lastly, we have the tan theta, which is equals to the opposite over the adjacent side. And this simply is ending with the tower. And this makes the mnemonic soccer tower. This is what we will be using more effectively in the following example. Now, the example we have, it says we have a point, which is point A. At the bottom and we have another point which is point b at the top and we are having a vertical line called x and it is at the 90 degree with the horizontal line which is given as 5,77. let's read the information first we say a person stands at point a so here we will assume there is a person ignoring the height of the person a person is standing at point A, looking up at a bed, sitting on top of a building. So they are saying that this is a building which is having a height X. And each top, there is a point there given as point B. The height of the building is known as X meters. So the height of the building is X meters. We do not know it. We give it a variable which can actually mean any number. But specifically, we have to calculate that number. Point A is 5.77 meters away from the foot of the building. I am actually underlining what is important for calculations. Them talking of point A, point B, building, it does not matter. It could have been point Q, point X, or whatever. It could have been a monkey, a donkey, or a person. But the relevant information is that I have x, which I must find, and also I have a distance of 
0.55 meters and it is the horizontal distance which is from the point A to the foot of the building. They are giving me further information and they say the angle from horizontal uh, to the top, so there must be a mistake here, to the top of the building is 60%. So the angle that is given, which is from the horizontal to the top, is 60%. They are saying to me, calculate the height of the building, which is in X meters. Now, first, before I can continue, I must notice something, that in all these things, what I need for me to be successful in my calculations is to derive the mathematics out of this scenario. Now let's start. What can I do? Trigonometry, remember, it is all about the triangles and specifically right angle triangle because where we get sine, cos and tan is from the right angle triangle. Now I'm trying to draw the building and the entire scenario with the person but only focusing on the mathematical representation of it. Now I am having 60% there. I have a 90 degree here. At the bottom, I have 5.77 meters and I have X there by the vertical line. I do not need to mention point A or B. I can mention them just, but what I need now is to analyze this triangle that I have because it is the one giving me the right to use the mathematical calculation such as the sine theta, cos theta, and the tan theta. Why? Because it is a 90 degree. Now, let's first label this diagram for us to be able to work properly. Let me just use a red one. So this, since we are given a 90 degree here, and we have a given angle, which can be represented as theta, we start with the given angle. The given angle opposite to it is our opposite side. And opposite to the 90 degree is our hypotenuse side, which is the longest side. And the remaining one will be our adjacent side. Now, let's try to calculate now what we have here. First, we check if we collect our data. What are we given? If I collect my data, what am I given? First, I am given the adjacent side. It means being given the adjacent side. When I go to my soccer tower, it is possible that I can use the cost because it has adjacent or I can.